My vision is of a world reimagined. It's jam-packed, a vibrant, innovative, enriching societies full of modern thinkers, tinkerers, and go-getters. They're solving problems to some of our greatest challenges. They're leading meaningful lives. They're contributing to the betterment of mankind. I'm talking about humans transformed. Do you share this vision? You might be working towards it right now. Uh, the fact that you're kind of sitting here at TEDx Perth means that you're probably ahead on that curve. Well done. So how do we transform humans? We empower. We foster a culture of question askers, tapped in to the opportunity of making choices. Understanding those choices, critically evaluating those choices. How about we empower people with critical and creative thinking. How about we ignite curiosity? <laughs> because embracing curiosity is embracing empowerment. And what a wondrous way to change the world. <laughs> and as a science communicator, traveling across the world, I have seen firsthand the value of science communication, of that light bulb moment. Science communication as a tool, as a tool for inquiry, as a, as a tool to connect. Science communication as a tool for empowerment. Curious questions can contribute to changing the world. Change can be hard, but really, how hard is it to embrace the wonders, the delight in the world? To ask questions, to, to listen, to get lost in observations, to revel in testing, to create, try something out. Don't be afraid of the unknown, of being wrong. Because everything we know came from there, the unknown. Embracing Curiosity is embracing where we've come from, where we are now, where we may go. This path may look unfamiliar, but embracing curiosity is embracing possibility. Like, take this chemical. It's not all that unfamiliar, particularly if you like Fancy Pants ice cream. Mm. It has a specific purpose. I know what it's been used for in the past. But is that all it can be used for? By sprinkling this inquiry with a healthy dose of curiosity, by mixing different things, can lead to possibility. 
by aiming to understand the world, to ask questions of it, scientists tend to stumble across a whole manner of fascinating and often actually really useful surprises. Scientists play. Scientists find patterns. They revel in the process. The process of discovery. Do you play? I do. <laughs> you might be thinking that I'm just playing right now. <laughs> I, and I totally am, by the way. Like, I'm literally the first person to make slime on this stage. No joke. Like, I almost had to sign a form and everything because the floor is, like, really important. But anyway, so... <laughs> but I'm not just playing. I'm doing research. <laughs> Basic research is what I am doing when I don't know what I'm doing. Wise words from the father of rocket science, Werner von Braun. He chose the unknown. What will you choose? Because by enjoying the process of just doing, of just asking questions and not really knowing where you're going to end up, <laughs> or well, what you're going to find along the way, like whether your slime's going to work on stage live at TEDx Perth. <laughs> it can yield fruitful futures. by playing around, by finding patterns, <laughs> you will discover properties. <laughs> you will discover potential, how it might solve problems. But it can be challenging. <laughs> but by embracing curiosity, you are embracing the process. <laughs> and whether or not you know that I've just created a concoction of cross-linked chemicals, uh, you will. You will go home and make this slime. You will play. And you will discover its properties. <laughs> its potential. <laughs> Imagine that power in your hands. Embracing curiosity is embracing that process, that potential, the world of what if. And our future is full of what ifs, of problems we have no idea about, of solutions yet to be defined. So can we craft communities with curiosity at its core? global citizens that connect with multifaceted issues in their lives. And as a result, we can 
have everyday humans drawing evidence-based conclusions that connects them more closely with reality. Embracing curiosity is embracing critical thinking skills. The skills that allow you to decide about your health, your well-being, your relationships. Decisions as a consumer about your environment, how you feel about sharks. Embracing curiosity is embracing the realization that you do not have to believe everything you are told in the media, magazines, the internet. It's embracing the realization that it is okay to question your world, to ask for help. The realization that beauty in here translates to out here. This is empowerment, that transformation. It is what I see for our future. Now, science leaders say there are no free rides to the future. But really, how much does it cost to ask a question? to wonder. <laughs> like what this is. The correct answer is a slime-covered DVD, but luckily, I have one of these. It's a DVD. And what does it do? But I choose curiosity. I choose to rekindle that flame. And in doing so, it may <laughs> transform my world. Curiosity, it's a powerful thing. You will see your world differently. But really, you're seeing yourself differently. Changing skills, changing attitudes, changing values, connected. This is transforming. It's life-changing. It's the foundation of self-expression, of belonging, of purpose. It's the ability that allows humans to choose, to carve out their own path in life, to their future. Also happens to be our future. What could be more empowering than that? So, embrace curiosity. It's embracing empowerment. And that is an idea worth spreading. Thank you.